What's up, everybody? Today, we we're going to tear down this thing and see if it's possible to do any kind of a battery upgrade because uh, it's not very rechargeable anymore. So let's see what happens. All right. Let's see. So this is made to be squishy, which makes me think that the light is down at the base and putting bigger batteries is going to block the light. So we're going to take a quick look and find out because okay, there we go. Because apparently this is really easy to take apart. Unlike, you know, I don't think we're going to need a spudger for this one, folks. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, it's a little more difficult. It's kind of tight. That's fine. It's, it's breathing. <clears throat> wow, not much there. I guess we'll see what size battery it has in it. But here we go. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Everything's backwards. So I'm guessing that's going to be the light. Let's see if we can see what these are. Let me get the magnifying glass. <coughs> yeah, uh, might as well zoom in. See how that works. Uh, I think this has four. Now nah, it seems it's chipping like digital. I thought I had like four opticals in, but oh, it's good grief. But who knows? Let's see here. Let's even get some chip. Yeah, I ain't seeing shit on that. Can you see anything? Yeah, that chip looks scrubbed. I'm using the, the, the screen to. Try and help see what's going on. Ah, microphone's in the way. Let's see here. Uh, I gotta find it. There we go. Here we got some J3Y transistors. I'm guessing that's the control chip. Oh, focus. That's really not much different, is it? Battery grounds. I'm guessing this is all charged over here. That's probably the on-off. Let's see. Like, I'm not going to go so far as to schematic it. Because this, I'm really just looking for upgrade. So let's see what's inside. And I actually kind of don't have a lot of time to do an upgrade. I'm going to be doing a KSP stream here soon. Uh, it might be bright. Yep. Okay, well, you can see. Let's see if that'll help. No, that doesn't help at all. Well, it's a red and blue. And the green is in the middle. There it is. It's just kind of hard to see. Ah, uh, you can kind of see it off of the uh, the little thingies right there. The what the hell you call those? F lens flare? Is that what that is? All right. I figure we do that real quick. All right, that works. Let's go ahead and take it apart. See if we can break it some more. Where are we at? Here we go. Try to keep it in center here. <clears throat> oh. Oh my. Oh, I was not expecting that. Okay. We've got an actual 18650 in there. That means I can upgrade it because I can stick one of my uh, 3300 milliamp hour batteries in there. And charge it like once I'm year 
Get that one out. All this is live voltage. Screws bouncing around. Not a care in the world. Where are we at here? All right, let's unzoom it a little bit here. Holy moly. Zoop. So there's the main board. One side. Ooh, what is that? A little, I guess that's a little inductor on the back. Okay. And then down here we have our charge circuitry and our switch. Um, let's see how how zoomy can that get on that little chip? Oh, you can almost see something. Let me do zoom on this as well. It's a one seven X. For what I'm guessing is the charge controller. 17x, uh, no idea, I never heard of that. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's take a look real quick. 17x charge controller. Learn how to spell. Wow. Nothing. Okay. So that's just a cheapy charge controller. <clears throat> and that'll be easy to upgrade. I can just solder in a new battery nice let's see what's in it ah uh, your typical uh 1200 milliamp hour battery that's probably good for 600. all right well so that's what's in here uh when i upgrade this i'll uh i'll probably measure out the battery as well so i'm guessing this is that's going to be the led controller then we have Three transistors with resistors. Let's see. I could schematic this out. I just don't have that time right now. now. Let's see. Let's do a live analysis here. So there's transistors like these down here. Oh, I'm actually focused. Well, zoomed in right. Oh, it's even focused too, kind of. So let's see. Where's pin? There's pin one. That's pin eight. Pin seven, eight. Go through a hundred ohm resistor to the transistor, and then out to the LEDs. And that is. Well, that's all of them are like that. 102, 102, 102, 102. One, so they all have 102 ohms going to the transistors to control the LEDs. And let's see. So there's three color LEDs and the white ones. What are the white ones doing here? So you have white. That's what we need to figure out. This ain't gonna be a very short video, is it? I'd like to figure out what the shaker is. Is oh, is that what that is? I wonder if that's for sh the the. Is that moving in there? I wonder if it's something in in this coil. Sorry, I'm moving all over the place. I don't know if that's actually an inductor or if that's... Where's that going? That goes... Let's see. Is that broke? Well, they actually have, if you look, 
just a piece of the one side of the coil coming out as opposed to another lead. And that goes from battery positive through a capacitor. Looks like that goes to ground. So that might just be a filter for the power. So that still doesn't tell me where the uh, the clicky bit is. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can isolate it. It's not on that one. So it's got to be here. Is that a mic? It's not a microphone, is it? Boop, boop, boop. Okay, just making sure it wasn't recording the, the bang, bang, bang. Oh, good, the phone's acting weird. Yeah, I don't know, unless that looks like it's a... an inductor. So the trigger is going to be somewhere off of here, but all these components look like regular components. What is that? Six. That is tiny. Six, six, two M transistor, maybe? Let's see. 662M transistor. Uh, 662M. Uh, that has that listed as a an 8-pin chip. Oh, no, there it is. What is this? Positive voltage regulator. Oh, so that's not even the bumper. All right, so this guy's a little uh, voltage regulator. Specify the actual voltage. I'm guessing something like three volts. <laughs> Let's see here. Any specs? Well, no quick specs, but I'm going to go ahead and guess it's probably a 3 volts in there. But, I guess if I can figure out what the actual uh, bump bump is, then I'll let you know, because I have no idea. All I see is resistors and transistors. It might be something in the chip itself. Let's, uh, let me just tap the chip really lightly. Yeah, I don't think it's the chip. It might be this thing back here. Let's see here. I'm all over the place, my bad. Like, look at that. Why isn't that changing now? Like, what am I? Am I holding something in place? That's weird. Really? Okay. If I hold here, I am touching whatever it is. It is, is it that little? Oh, I was. 
I mean, I'm barely touching that right there. It's fucking hard to see. God. I think it's that component right there. I feel like it's one of these three. Because that looks like the capacitor that's going across this. I think that has something to do with it. There might be something loose in this as a shock sensor. Because that's a resistor. I can read that. Like I'm going to have to get my microscope to figure that out. Those are the component numbers. But I think we'll go ahead and call it there. We'll do a part two of this when I upgrade it. Maybe learn a, bit, a little bit more about it. Let me zoom it on back out here. So here's the dinosaur in pieces. Uh, I will upgrade this for a better battery. <clears throat> and uh, I guess we'll go from there. Wow. Why did my monitor just fall over? Okay. Um... That was weird. But yeah, let's uh, put that back for now. And I'll uh, get to part two on upgrading this probably this week. So you should see this in a uh, couple more weeks, I guess. The upgraded version. So, uh, appreciate you hanging out. And I will see everyone later. If you dig the video, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will, uh, I'll see you on the next one.